So this is telling me that there is no rain anywhere around. But then, look at this. Somehow, somehow I'm gonna believe this a little bit more. But regardless of what it is or isn't, we still need to get out there to the sea on those rocks and see if there's any fish. I didn't drive out here for nothing, all right? We're gonna catch something, I guarantee it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Apologize, sorry for that one. Luckily the rain turned into just a little bit of a drizzle, so we're good to go. Let's just hope there's a couple of fish out here, man. Look at this water though. I mean, you can't really tell right now without the sun being out, but it is pretty nice colored water, especially over here. There's gonna be something, look, a freaking log is going down the stream, but well, it looks like someone caught a freaking sea urchin. I don't know, I don't know what they were doing with it, but let's put that guy back out there. Make sure no one steps on this guy. Dude, there's birds at the end. Not always a sure sign. Birds, let's listen. Birds are not always a sure sign of anything, but let me tell you, it's better than nothing. Yo, there's definitely something, dude. There's definitely something. Look at that. Already stuff popping right there. Let's rig up. Let's rig up just in case there's some Spanish. I think there might be. There should definitely be Spanish. If there's Spanish, I'm telling you right now, we're gonna be eating some Spanish mackerel today. Well, I'm seeing tons of stuff, little stuff flirting around over here. So I'm thinking Spanish mackerel might be, might be over here. This little cast master, little spoon perfectly imitates little tiny bait fish too. Little tiny, little tiny flashy minnows. Oh, look at that bait, baby. Look at that bait. If you're telling me there's nothing chasing those guys, you're a damn liar. There's one, finally, dude. That's a Spanish, and we fu What I was doing right there is I was moving it so fast. So maybe that's the ticket. Wow, look, there's a ton of stuff popping right here. We have to make a cast. You gotta make a cast right here. Well, the end of the jetties defeated us over there, but on the way back, we found some feeding fish right here. Let's see if anything will actually eat, though. Fields of feeding fish. That's a lot of Fs. There's one. Finally, something, baby. That's what I'm talking about, dude, the little spoon. Tell me it's a Spanish. Whatever it is, it's freaking small. It might be a leather jack. Oh, it's Spanish, baby, Spanish. Yes. Targeted species. Is that a keeper, though? I don't think so. Let's find out, though. If this is a keeper, you're going to be eaten, my friend. Whoa. <laughs> what a wild ride. Please, please let the struggle be worth it. Oh, that's easy keeper, baby. Beautiful little fish, baby. Now we got some food, let's go. Let's get right back out there, dude. I'm telling you, this little spoon, this little spoon is the ticket, baby. All right, man, the Spanish are actually out here. Like I said, they would be. Wow, I'm actually right for once. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Oh, there's so many Spanish. Oh, instant bite. That's what I'm talking about. Instant, instant. Dude, let's go. There's a little guy. I don't even care, dude. I'm just glad to catch something right now. This is a little baby, a little baby Spanish. Spanish don't have to be that big to eat, but this guy is not even big enough. Little guy, all right, come on, baby. Get right back in there. There he should be running through right here. We should be able to catch one easy. There he is. Oh, God dang, dude. <laughs> this freaking Spanish mackerel, baby. This has to be a Spanish too, right? Dang, little guy. God dang, that's the smallest one I've ever done seen. There's gotta be some keepers in there though. Still, wow, freaking gorgeous fish. You can't tell me that's not a beautiful fish though. Relax, brother, you're going back. See, straight back. Show me where some bigger ones are. Maybe they're out further. What's that? I'm trying to. I'm trying to get more than one. I got. You don't want it? No. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Damn, that's a good one, man. Yeah. Holy cow! It might have. You probably put it. Right in the front. Probably put up a decent fight. Oh yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thank yeah, you. Man, it was nice meeting you. I don't got a hand, but I appreciate it. Good luck at Packery, guys.
There they are. They're heavy over here, baby. They are heavy right here. If I don't catch one here, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh my God, they're not hitting it. There he is, there he is. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Freaking love Spanish, man. I love any fish that is this aggressive. Hurry, we need to get this guy off again. That might be, let's see. Ah, that's a small one, that's a small one. Look at those chompers though. You don't want to mess with that if you can help it. See, bud? Look at that, holy, let's go see what that is, dude. There's so many birds over there, seagulls too. And let me tell you, there's something about seagulls diving that I like to see. Gear of reporting. Sick, dude, freaking big old schools of Spanish mackerel. I was hoping they're jacks, but damn, those are some big Spanish. All right, man, we need to get the heck out of here. Unfortunately, I released a couple keepers, but luckily, the guy gave me his giant Spanish mackerel, so we got some food to eat, baby. Well, somehow we made it back home through through this weather. I mean, lately, the weather's kind of been dictating what I've been doing, but you know what I want to do is I want to flay these fish up. Let's get slicing. Well, believe it or not, this big dog right here, for how big he is, for how much bait there was out there, he didn't have anything in his stomach. So I guess that is why he was out there eating. Poor guy was out there with an empty stomach. No wonder, no wonder he got caught. Some nice meat right there, baby. <laughs> That's some nice meat. That's some nice meat. All right, check it out, check it out. We got our nice fillets here and we're just gonna pop that in. A little bit of milk right here. And we're just gonna let that set in the fridge. And now it is time to cook. We've removed these guys from the milk, patted them dry, and I think today we're gonna be making some blackened fish. One of my favorite, favorite ways to cook them. Just, it's just very tasty. You know you can make your own blackened seasoning, but I'm a little bit lazy, so we're gonna do it the lazy way. Look at that, dude, it's beautiful. Look at that beautiful fish right there. You're a beautiful fish. And you're gonna taste good, buddy. I think I'm gonna go with seasoning on both sides because I want that extra flavor, baby. No! Oh, how did that happen, brother? God dang it, the freaking cap came off. That's all right, dude, I wanted that to happen. It's just, it, it just makes my job easier, right? No, it happened again! I thought I closed it, dang it! And I'm actually gonna be using Butter, butter in there. There's some butter in there. And you know what butter means? Butter means smoke. So let's see how smoky we can get it in this place. But you know, it just, it just tastes butter when you cook with it. Flipping time, flipping time. Uh oh, we're messing everything up. <laughs> it's time to ruin, time to ruin everything we worked for. Oh yeah, it didn't break. I'm proud of myself. Oh, it looks amazing, dude. All right, now, now I have a very, very important question for you guys. And this is gonna decide if I keep making videos or not, depending on what you guys answer. What do you prefer, lemons or lime? It's very important, very, very important. If any of y'all said lemon, you can get out of here right now. Your kind's not wanted around these parts. All right, I think it's time, man. Let's get these guys off the grill, the grill. Let's get them off the skillet at least. Can't tell me that's not a beautiful piece of blackened fish right there. Let's go baby, look at that right there, beautiful. And I already know, I already know people are gonna say, it's not properly blackened because you added too much butter and you didn't cook on a cast iron skillet. But you know what, I don't care for technicalities. I just wanna, good, I just wanna eat good stuff, right? It tastes, it's gonna taste good, I guarantee it. Oops. Dang, look at that beautiful, beautiful citrus right there. Dude, this is gonna taste so good. It smells so good. Let's go. And we got lime on there. My man, lime. <laughs> I guess that doesn't work like my man, Cayenne, does it? 
Oh, ah, and there it is, dude. Look, we got a salad. We got some blackened fish, and we even have utensils to eat with, because it's a, it's a spoon. You get it? Sorry. Moment of truth, though, right here. Let's see how this thing tastes. Ugh. What the heck did I? Just kidding, it's amazing. You know what, if live bait is kind of like cheating for fishing, well then using butter is kind of like cheating for cooking. Cause it tastes good, man. It's, it's okay though, we're making up for it cause we got salad and that makes up for it, right? Is that, that's kind of how it works, I think. We'll pretend, we'll pretend that's how it works. Now that's some tasty fish right there, man. Blackened fish, one of my favorite ways to cook fish. What do you guys think? What's your number one favorite way to cook fish? Spanish mackerel, man. Very tasty. Highly recommend. Hey, we'll catch you guys next time. Be careful, and I love you. I love you. I love you very much.